filled with this week, so it's looking, looking good still, looking good. Hello friends, I don't remember when I last filmed, I think we were in the artist alley, but we are now sitting around in this, this area of the, the convention center is huge by the way, yeah. I think we're on like one of the upper levels, um, and we're sitting in this area waiting for uh, them to line us up to get Ray Chase's autograph. Uh, Ray Chase, if you don't know, is the voice actor for Noctis from Final Fantasy XV. Um, my plan, as of this moment, um, is to get... I got this little um, card for Cynthia. I think I showed you guys this earlier. I'm gonna get him to sign this. Um, probably write a note on the back saying, like, good luck in Japan or something, and then just have him sign it. Uh, that's my plan, and it's a good plan. And, yeah. So yeah, we're just sitting sitting down waiting for them to open the line so we can get that done and then after that I am not sure what we're gonna do because I don't have any other panels that I want to go to I'll go back to the artist alley and dealers room tomorrow you guys will probably see more of the river walk and surrounding areas because this part of San Antonio is really pretty one thing that we did earlier was I moved all of my stuff into the hotel room if you want to be in the background that's fine yeah it makes it less awkward because you know there are people and other people around that. No, <laughs> like it's like it's just so much fun. I just like to see. Um... Here, I'll give you a chance. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How is your convent so far? <laughs> oh my God, it's like oh, it's got like the weird little bobbly focus. Yeah, it's, it's, like it's uh, the stabilizer. Oh, that's so cool. It's so mesmerizing to look at. <laughs> my con has been good. Yeah. My legs are tired and I am <laughs> sleepy, but yeah, I want to stay for the late night spooks. Late night spooks? But I don't know how I'm going to stay for the late night spooks. I also want to booze, but that's not going to help staying awake for the late night that's spooks. That's very true. Yeah, you have to drive back to Sandy's tonight. Yeah. But like, I know, like, part of me is like, Sarah, you could go back early and just chill at Sandy's and come back for the spooks. And I'm like, no. If I go back to Sandy's. Yeah, you're not going to make it I'm back, not going probably. Back yeah. till tomorrow. Because then you'd have to do the whole charade of, like, finding a place to park again and everything. Yeah. Really, I'm just lazy. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna look at the schedule and see if there's anything else that we want to do tonight. There is, like you said, the um, creepy past uh, panel channel. Um, I don't know if that's happening tonight or tomorrow though. And then um, I guess I'll see you guys <clears throat> on the other side of the signing when I get Ray Chase's autograph. We -ne -ne -ne! Ray Chase's autograph obtained. Cynthia's gonna be so happy. I hope. But anyway, uh, this is what is this? The artist alley? Yeah. Kind of a general sweeping view. There's a games corner over here where you can demo games, which is really cool. They have a lot of seating available for like people to just sit down, which is really nice because not a lot of conventions do that, and I appreciate it. We have some time. What time is it? 6 33. We have some time to kill. Let's look at the convention schedule. This is my, I think this is my second con using this app called Guidebook. Which, oh, can you see that? It shows you, like, it's a really well laid out uh, schedule and maps and everything all in this little app. Um, and I'm so glad when cons use it because it's really useful to just like scroll through and see what's coming up next. Star Wars meetups, Dragon Age meetups, Furry 101 at 7 o'clock. We have two that we're thinking of. Horror Feud, which is a horror game family feud with Mr. Creepypasta at 8.30. Ooh, there's, there is a Geeks Who Drink at 10. I think Sarah might be trying to take a nap. Oh, and then also at 10 is Creepypasta Tales of Terror with Creepypasta Jr. and Miss Shadow Lovely. Um, I think Creepypasta Jr. is the guy on YouTube who does a lot of... Like, he reads out uh, scary stories. And then Miss Shadow Lovely, I don't know much about her. Um, I've seen her in Emma Blackery's videos a couple times when she was playing Minecraft. I really don't know what she is, what she is famous for, but she's pretty, so I'm down. Yeah. Stay awake. Stay awake. No yawning. No yawning. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a bit when we're more active. Ooh. Hello, friends. I am lounging. Let me just lounge while I talk to you. I am back in the hotel room, actually. It is empty right now. It is just me in here. Look, there's me in the wind and the mirror. Hello. 
Um, I'm just watching some YouTube videos and chilling. Sarah has gone back to, so, uh, let me explain to you a thing, right? Um, my, our other friend Cynthia has an aunt who lives in San Antonio, so Sarah's staying with her actually, and I'm staying in this hotel room with a bunch of friends. I got me some instant noodles, because I thought that would be clever, and a way to avoid spending a lot of money at this convention. Did not realize that the brand that I got, you cannot put water into the cup itself. Here, I'll show you. You're all gonna laugh at me because this is probably common knowledge among co uh, con goers. But, so I got uh, Marichan instant lunch noodles, right? And I'm like, okay, I can just grab some of these. They have microwaves downstairs for us to use. And I can just put water in it, heat it up. And then of course on this side it says, do not microwave. So. I don't have a separate container with which to make my instant noodles, so I'm a bit stuck at the moment. I've literally just been eating these chips right here, which are tasty, but I'm also halfway through the bag, and I've just been sitting here for the past 20 minutes. Like, we don't have a kettle or anything, so I can't just boil water. But uh, that, that, that's, that's a different matter. First world problems entirely. I just whipped out my camera to say I am chilling in the room. I've actually changed into PJs for the time being because it's kind of cold in here and also I'm just, it's so nice to just sit down and not do anything for a bit. And now that I have a moment to myself, I can kind of go over how the con's been so far. So we woke up a lot later than we were expecting to and I was a little nervous about leaving as late as we did. We didn't actually leave for the con until about 10.30. Um, but we actually found parking relatively quickly and close to the hotel or the convention center so that was nice and we got in with plenty of time to wander a bit and then we did the Pokemon panel, the Pokemon game show panel which was really, I think, one of the best organized panels that I've ever been to. There was Guess That Pokemon based on the silhouette um, there was a Jeopardy, there were two Je Jeopardy rounds actually, there was a Team Rocket Double Trouble uh, trivia challenge that me and Sarah participated in. That was super fun. And just, it was just really well hosted and really well organized, so good on you guys, uh, whoever hosted that. As far as the con goes, I think it's, it's really well organized so far. Everything seems really calm and runs really smoothly, so like we were standing in line for Ray Chase's autographs and that, I mean, I've never been to a signing before, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but um, that went really well, I think, and everyone was just super calm and chill, and we went in, and they explained everything to us, and then we left, and it was, it was great. Also, nice perk of this hotel is we have a balcony. Look at this. It's so nice. I'm just sitting here enjoying the sunset, and, uh, can I go outside? Let's see if I can go outside. Warning, do not leave children unattended, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a child. Let me, ooh, yeah. Oh, it's nice outside. Look at that. So as you can see, uh, here's the river. The San Antonio River, we are on the river walk. This is our view from the hotel. It's very nice. Oh, it's nice and, nice and warm-ish out here. There's the convention center, just over there, I think. Yeah, I think the entrance is uh, just this way. And I like this because now I can zoom in really far and spy on people. Yeah, I see you down there. Oh, yep, filthy weaves, you and your bags. I'm gonna stay out here for a bit, it's so nice. It's been a, kind of a stressful couple weeks for me, not not only with getting all of my costumes done, but just like it, it, things in general, but it's so nice to finally be here and just have a weekend to enjoy myself and relax. And other than that, things are nice. Look, it's so picturesque. Okay, that's it for now. Bam! I'm back. We're back on the con floor. Here we go. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock at night. Sarah has, uh, is not with me. She's gone to bed because she's tired or whatever, I guess. Um, but I decided, as you can see, I changed it to Pikachu. And I am very cozy and warm. And I have my light-up shoes. And I just feel like a giant kid and it's great. Um, I have a Lola Raichu with me and I'm just very cozy and lovely. And I've already got, <laughs> there's a little kid outside just walking by and she goes, Mommy, look, it's Pikachu. I, was, I almost cried. I waved at her. It was the most
most adorable thing. So now I am working my lonesome way over to, God, there are so many people everywhere. I'm working my lonesome way over to the same panel room that we went to actually for the Pokemon game show because I am determined to go hear some spooky scary stories being told. Voice pasta. I don't think pasta is supposed to be voice. What is wrong with you? Like, I think, I think you did something wrong. Hey. Ooh. Hey, cool. Spooky scary panel time. Now I can take off the mask. Hey. <laughs> Wow, I am weak. <laughs> we didn't even get all the way through the first story and I had to step out because I was actually feeling faint. <laughs> I was expecting spooky scary, not blood and gore, but the first story is about someone gouging their own eyes out and I just couldn't. I'm ashamed to admit this. Horror, jump scares, um, you know, the kind of typical ghost going boo, I can handle that. Apparently, I do not have the stomach for really gritty, straight in with the blood, guts, and horror that they are putting on tonight, so I may actually just go back to the hotel or I actually might wander down the river walk for a while. I have my light up shoes and I don't want this outing to be a complete waste of time because I did put a little bit of makeup on to complete the Pikachu look, so I may just wander around a little bit more. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I feel so bad. I love spooky scary. I guess I don't love blood, guts, and horror. I don't know, it was just, it went into excruciating, like, visceral detail, and I think that's just where I cut off, and I was like, I cannot handle this. I'm ashamed that I didn't even make it a full story in, but, the, oh my god, I mean, that was masterfully done, I have to say. If I was, if I had the stomach for it and I was able to sit there the entire time, I'm sure I would have been floored, because the way, it was Creepypasta Jr. who started it out, I guess I really just didn't know what I was getting into, <laughs> so... They did warn us though, they were like, there's gonna be suicide and killing and mutilation. And I thought I was okay with it, and I was not. So let's go, let's go wander along the river walk and clear our heads and try not to think about that. I'm so embarrassed. I, oh my god. Let's go see what other fun adventures we can have at late night con, shall we? in this that is my life. I I was waiting around to play DDR and then the dealer's room closed and I was like, well, guess I'll just go back to the hotel room. So here I am wandering back to the hotel room. I think before I go in, I will probably wrap up on Friday night. Well, it looks like I've almost smeared my nose completely off. That's good. I'm gonna go wipe the rest of it off properly with makeup remover and I will see. I just remembered the nightmare I'm gonna have getting into my cosplay for tomorrow, but I'm excited to wear it and I will see you guys in the morning for Saturday and part two or three of this vlog, depending on how long this video is already. Okay, I'm gonna go and stop rambling. Good night!